Well, hello. I want to welcome you to another exciting episode of Pens in Use. Uh, last week I had to not record this. I'll get to that at the end of this video. But for now, let's take a look at the pens and inks that I took to Fargo this week for a class. So if videos like this interest you, where I talk about fountain pens, both new and old, and at all price points, I would invite you to subscribe. If anything I bring up during this video is worthy of a comment or strikes your interest, please leave a comment down below. Maybe you have something to add. So let's take a look at the pens. So left to right, I have a Conklin Word Gauge. I have a Lamy Dialogue 3. I have a Lingmo Lorelei. I have a P Pilot Custom 823. And I have... A Moon... <laughs> Sorry, drew a blank there. Moon Mon Wan Kai Mini. Uh, you might be saying those pens, except for the Moon Man, look awfully full for a week's worth of classes. That's because I'm recording this before I leave. I'm recording this on Sunday. And after I record this, I'm jumping in my car and driving for six hours to Fargo. So, I'm thinking of you. Alrighty, let's take a look here. As always, the BOMO Art Journal. I didn't look to see if this is an international thing, but uh, here in the United States on Friday... Or, I'm sorry, on Sunday, for June 17th, it is Father's Day. Um, so, if you still have your father around, wish him a happy Father's Day. My father will be 78. Uh, so, this first pen is a Conklin Word Gauge. You haven't seen this pen in use in quite a long time. I don't know why. I like the pen. I just don't seem to have inked it up. But I thought I would take it to Fargo because it holds a lot of ink. I, I It's totally a gimmick, but I love this green ink window in the middle with uh, how many words remaining. It's a Conklin, so it has a pretty traditional Conklin nib. It's a steel nib. This one's a medium. All in all, nice writer, nice feel in the hand, nice quality pen. Now, I couldn't take my whole pen collection. I actually emptied out every pen I own and filled pens specifically for this class, except for the pocket pen, that one I just left as is. So ink in this is KWZ Menthol Green. And I like to have a pen with me where I can uh, write stuff that stands out. Often notes to myself or reflections on something I'm learning. My next pen is the lovely Lamy Dialogue 3 with the retractable nib. I just misspelled dialogue. And this has an oblique, I can't remember if it's a broad or a medium. Medium. It sure seems broad to me, but it's a German nib. They, they're usually a little broader. Uh, and the ink in it is KWZ. Hmm. Iron Gall. Turquoise. I saw that in a letter I got from a pen pal this week, and I thought, wow, that's awesome. I messed up the word turquoise, but whatever. So, I, I like to have a different color to write with in my notes, so there you go. You know, a not standout color, and as it dries, it definitely becomes a not standout, but not black. The next pen is a Lorelei Lingmo. I actually have a nib in it from a pile of Prera. Because I like to have a stub, or a music pen... Uh, I have a stub nib in one of my Noodler's pens, but I decided to go with this instead. I'll just write stub because I can't remember. It's a calligraphy. Okay, CM, calligraphy medium. The ink is Lamy Coral. I actually had a Lamy uh, Safari out to put it in, but then I thought, no. <laughs> 
because I was going to use it as instead of this Conklin word gauge to have my bright ink to write notes in. But now I decided to use a stub. <clears throat> I think it looks good. This is going to be my everyday carry all summer. This is a uh, takes the place of the Lamy 2000 in the summer. This is my Pilot Custom 823. It's not my usual ink in it. Somebody gave me a small bottle of this ink. I like the ink. I just uh, use Lamy Black instead. But this is Pilot's Iroshizuku. Takesumi. And that's for my notes and such like. And I'm not taking too many pens to Fargo. But one thing I will be doing after uh, Fargo is I'll be wandering a bit. And I thought it would be nice to have a pocket pen I could carry around with me. This is my Moonman Wankai Mini. I love, love, love the acrylic this one's made out of. Not so much a fan of the nib. The nib's okay. Kind of dry. I mean, this ink has taken forever to run out of this pen. I just got bored putting it in pens in use. Yeah, I'll just go Moon Man Mini, whatever. And the ink is Colorverse. Lights on series. If I remember right, series is where the proto molecule got loose. So those are the pens that I have in use this week. Uh, not very many. This is what I will be, or since you're watching this past tense now, uh, I did take to Fargo. I felt I should record this on a on Sunday rather than wait to, to record it because I might take an extra day on the trip and not even be back Friday. Plus, we all know how well last week turned out. So I went to... Uh, it was a busy week. I just did a lot. And then... Uh, Wednesday I had a class up in Dickinson, so I went to the class in Dickinson, and from there, it was okay, nothing to write home about, but, you know, better than the typical classes in Dickinson, I suppose. Uh, <laughs> sorry, am I allowed to say that? Then uh, a group of us went on to, of all places, Arthur, North Dakota. Now, uh, I'll get to why in a second. But we actually spent the night in Castleton, which is the home of the squirrels. So expect me this week to sometime get make a trip out to Castleton one evening from Fargo. Because the school mascot is the squirrels. And a channel called Wasky Squirrel, I've got to do it. So uh, I will be going out there. <clears throat> Excuse me. But anyway, I've been sick. Uh, I may have told you when I did my Lamy review. Thank God I did this a few weeks ago and did a batch because it saved me. I've just been coughing and hacking a lot. You probably have heard me clear my throat a few times. I try not to on this channel, but, you know, it happens. And anyway, it was bad. It got really bad that Thursday because uh, we went to Arthur. There's a school there. It's called Northern Cass. It's uh, the Northern Cass County. And they incorporated just a whole bunch of small towns. Arthur, Hunter, Grandin. I forget all of them, but whole bunch of small towns that all had their own little school, but you know, not enough kids anymore. Uh, so it's in a field out in the middle of nowhere. Very nice school of many additions, but very nice and very, uh, it may be many additions, but they really thought through how to renovate it. So very nice school. Now you're saying why there? Well, I'll tell you why. The superintendent's kind of one of these more pushy people with a lot of connections, so that helps. But the other thing is the, the governor, North Dakota's governor, Doug Burgum, is from Arthur, North Dakota. So that's how the second annual Governor's Summit on Innovative Education ended up being held out there. Uh, we, we put in a push if we're going to be going to remote Class B schools, maybe you should have one out west here 
at our school. So we'll see. Maybe in a couple of years the governor will come out here. I doubt it. We're, we really are off the beaten path. It's not just a quick 15 miles off the interstate to get to my town. Um, but anyway, we, uh, it, that was a pretty good day. And, and you can expect I will do a video on that. I'm actually planning to record it while I'm in Fargo. I'm taking this. I probably shouldn't have tapped it. I'm taking this microphone with me. Um, to record the video because I have a lot of notes. I was going to outline everything and perhaps record it here at home in my nice studio, but uh, I have been so sick the last two days. I feel a lot better today. It's like my head is draining out, but I spent most of the last two days sleeping when I wasn't coughing. Sometimes I was cold, sometimes I was hot, and both days were in the 80s and it's been humid. So yeah, got absolutely nothing done except a lot of sleep. So Feeling a lot better today, just in time to drive six hours to Fargo, so, hey, <laughs> but I'll go to bed early, and, uh, it should be a good, good time this week in Fargo, and then depending on how I'm feeling, I'm going to stay an extra night, so I'm not racing home Thursday, uh, I'm going to stay an extra night, because I want to explore Fargo a little bit, for my own sake, because I never have time to do that, it's so far away, I never get over there, uh, so I'll probably take you along, sort of, with the camera that you can just barely see the edge right there. I see on my preview the little bit of black right here. See, now you can see it above my hand. That camera, that camcorder there is going with me. So is that one actually, so I can take photographs. But <clears throat> anyway, so I'll be doing that. I would like to show you some businesses that sell fountain pens, but I'd kind of like to get the business owner's permission before I do that. So I may make some preliminary contacts earlier in the week and then record the actual footage on Friday. We'll see. Um, yeah, I, I, the only other thing I have to say, and I've learned my lesson. I knew the lesson because I took advantage of it the week before. If you're a YouTuber, if possible, batch film. Now I'm not batch filming today, even though I'd really like to. I'm record. I guess I am sort of, but only for the week. Batch film, so you always have videos several weeks in advance. Uh, then when things happen, like you get really sick or like the review that was supposed to happen, it's really awful because you are you sound terrible. And, and I first time I reviewed this uh, Pilot Custom 823, go back to that. I learned my lesson. Don't film those reviews when you sound like that. Uh, that way you're you're prepared for that. Now things like pens and use are a little more timely. What I should have been doing, and I wasn't, I got out of the habit because, oh, it's summer, I have free time, yay, is I should have started recording them early in the week, like I'm doing today, and then up, upload them and just have them scheduled to appear at 3 o'clock on Friday. So, forced myself back into a little discipline with that. Lesson learned, so I apologize. But anyway, expect also some interesting footage soon. I uh, haven't recorded it yet, although I might be recording it as you watch this, uh, depending on when you watch it, because Friday I want to head north from Fargo if everything's working out. Hit, uh, I, uh, I suppose I'll hit Grand Forks, but I'm really not that interested. Uh, but what I really want to hit is Pembina. But then I want to head west from Pembina, Go through the Pembina Gorge, which is one of the scenic byways in North Dakota. I've never been there, but I hear it's pretty. Uh, to Walhalla, which is one of the oldest towns in North Dakota. I actually had sort of, they're still looking for a science teacher, but I'm not, I don't think I'm the right match for them. Plus, I've got a job. So, uh, by the way, we're looking for a science teacher too. So if you know, you or you know somebody who's interested in being a high school science teacher, shoot me a note. We're looking. But anyway, I would like to tour that. I just have never been there. And then I'm going to come south along Devil's Lake, which is always beautiful. Fort Totten, where I taught several summers. Uh, New Rockford, which it's a nice town, but, you know, it's eh. Carrington, which is another nice town. But then I'm going to come through Carrington, and instead of going on the highway to Jamestown or west on, what is it, Highway 200. I'm going to take a different route through towns like Woodworth and down and come out on the interstate Medina. That's a gorgeous drive. Well worth it. So I'll have lots of driving footage. I'm bringing along my backup hard drive so I can 
not fill up the hard drive on my laptop. Anything else to add here? No, that sounds like about it. Plus, I need to get on the road, and I've got one more video to record. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> not totally over it yet, but lots of sleep, lots of water. Hopefully, I'll be over it by the end of the week. So, anyway, thank you for what. Oh, I forgot to do my closure. So, if videos like this interest you, or I talk about fountain pens, both new and old, and at all price points, I would invite you to subscribe. If you'd like to comment on anything I've said in this video or any of the upcoming trips, please feel free to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.